And then I ended up running into the muscle doc, Jordan, and I was a huge fan of his. And he gave me some very powerful, encouraging words. And it really helped boost my confidence level for for the show uh, with me being up there by myself, you know. Um, so after I left there, man, I had a really big boost of confidence, you know, and I said, I'm here. I got to compete. Um, and I just got to go out there and do the best that I can, you know, um, and, you know, like I said, you know, it was weird at the beginning of Sunday, nobody knew who I was. And at the end of the show on Sunday, yeah. everybody Dougie flex was, so that was a, that was an incredible feeling, especially other bodybuilders that I'm a fan of, you know, um, Quentin Beastwood, um, I'm a fan of Joel Thomas as well. I mean, you know, you see these guys all the time in the bodybuilding circuit, man. So for all of these guys to to, to recognize me and, and communicate with me backstage after was incre- incredibly um, credi- incredible. The, the greater the challenge, the greater the reward. Yes, yes, most definitely. Yeah. Thing is, you didn't just win, for me, from my perspective, from me on the outside looking in, you didn't just win your pro debut, but you won so soon after turning pro, you know, you had all this going on, you know, with turning up by yourself and all these these added pressures and kind of stresses. And, you know, when the stress goes up, the cortisol, cortisol goes up and, you know, the, yep. the mind usually goes before the body and then the body goes. And it's like a lot can I've seen a lot happen to I've been in the industry long enough to see what can happen to people mentally yep. and then physically it follows. You know, you yep. beat Dave Henry, you beat the defending champion. And like you said, at the start of the day, they didn't know you were the, la- the end of the day. You know, what a what a journey. What an experience for you, though. Yes, it was definitely a journey and an experience. And, you know, it was one of those. It was another confidence booster that let me know that I can compete in the 212 division. I do know that I still have a lot of room for improvement. Um, you know, as I said before, I'm a fan of the sport and I have a huge ton of respect for it. So, you know, my I'm, I have a very humble approach to to everything that I do. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a lot of people sometimes say I'm a little bit too humble. Um, but, you know, in my past, I've been through a lot and um, life humbled me. And I just know that, you know, anything can be taken from us at any time. So I do my best to live for today and I work as hard as I can every day. And, um, you know, I don't take opportunities for granted anymore. So, um, you know, moving forward, you know, me punching my ticket to the Olympia, that was a a dream. You know, I used to and when I got into bodybuilding, I used to always joke with my dad and say, how cool would that be if I could get on that stage one day? Not really knowing that one day I could actually get on that stage. Some of the greatest bodybuilders. In the world, it's just you know something that's surreal. You know, I'm um, just still still soaking everything in. And you're you're in a you're in a kind of a unique position because by qualifying so soon after the last Olympia, and with the Olympia being put back from October to December, I yep. mean you've got a full twelve months to get yep. on. I mean, a, how much can be done in twelve months? I mean, a, a huge amount. You could literally. You know, so it's 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 like with it's a great position to be in right now for you. Yeah, and and you know the ironic thing is, I remember when I turned pro. I turned pro with Nick Walker and yep. Bobby Fitz. And I remember right after we turned pro, I was I got an opportunity to meet Nick and and chop it up with him for a bit. And he was like, "Dude, man, you should come do the Chicago Pro with me." And I said, "No," I said, "I'm gonna be human for a little while." <laughs> and I I knew I needed some time to grow, and you know. Um, I want to be great at everything that I do. If mm-hmm. if I worked at a fast food restaurant flipping burgers, I'd be the best burger flipper in the in in the in the the, the restaurant. So you know that's my approach with with bodybuilding. I really want to be good at it. I don't. I didn't want to just do a pro show just because I became pro. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I wanted to make sure my pro debut counted, and I wanted uh, I wanted to make a name for myself. So you know, I planned on doing the show late in 2021 to give myself an off season to grow uh my original plan was to do the japan pro but japan had a lot of covid issues they picked the venue and uh my one representative from my sponsor company that was over there she said it was really bad and she kind of convinced me that even if i if they could cancel the show and it wouldn't even be a good time to go visit just like on a vacation Mm 